Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at deepgreenpermaculture.com. They have a great article on propagating hardwood cuttings or taking clones from existing trees that you may have. So fruit and nut trees, they require some pruning, some maintenance to make sure they grow in the way you want them to grow. So in the winter, after the leaves fall, the trees go dormant. That's when you want to do your pruning. And you can take those pruning branches and turn them into cuttings or entirely new trees that are genetically identical to the parent tree. That means the apples that grow from an apple tree clone will taste just like the parent's tree's apples. Same with nuts and whatnot. So it can be a very easy way to take one tree and turn it into dozens of trees over the years. Grafting is a little bit different and tissue culture is a little bit different, but they all operate on a similar principle. So let's go to this first graphic. When you take a cutting, you want to do this season's wood only. So it's going to be about pencil thin to about the thickness of a finger. You want to cut near the main branch and uh, below the bud. You want to have at least 6 to 10 inches in this brown section. You will be cutting off the unripe, softer green wood. And there's another graphic that shows that. Basically, you find a bud and you do a slope cut away from the bud. And that slope cut will be exposed to the air above and the base will be put into the ground or a potting container of some sort. I've seen some people bury the entire hardwood cutting underground without leaving anything above ground and they get some good results that way as well. So again, you want to cut off the base to nice and flush and a slope cut away from the bud at the top about six to ten inches in length overall. You may want to wound the cutting, especially if it's a tree that doesn't do very well at sprouting new roots from cuttings. You know, a willow tree is great at prop game. You can just take a stick off a willow tree and plant it in the ground. It may just turn into a new tree, live oaks, hazels, that sort of thing. They're great at it. But other trees are very difficult. So you want to take a small knife and scrape away a little bit of the bark to get to that green cambium layer underneath. And then that's, the, of course, the spot you're going to stick in the ground. But first, it's a good idea to dip it into some rooting hormone. You can get it in powders and liquids, or you can take willow tree sap which is a great rooting hormone. I'm also told it's a great aspirin-like substance for medicine. And you rub that around the base and put it in the ground or a potting container. They recommend taking a spade, pushing it into the soil, and working it back and forth to make a small slit trench, and then putting the cuttings right into that slit trench, about two-thirds below the soil. In a container, you're going to put it in you know, a five-gallon bucket filled with some soil medium, you want to make sure the soil is moist at all times. Not soaked, but moist. If it goes dry, you're not going to get great results. Now, um, in a pot, if you grow them in a container, they're going to need to be transplanted in the spring so they can have room for the roots to grow. But if you plant them in this slit trench, then you really want to let them grow for a full season and then transplant them in the following uh, fall. You know, basically, maybe even when they go dormant and then di dig them up, put them in a new spot, their permanent spot. You can also propagate grapevines using this method, although a lot of people say you put a ton of them in a container and then just sort them out later after they have their roots sprouted. And then you can just plant them wherever you want. Now, of course, different trees have different growing condition requirements, so there's lots of videos online you can learn about that. Again, there's other ways to propagate trees like this, uh, tissue culture, grafting, that sort of thing. If you have a soft sem stemmed variety, you don't need to use this method. You can really take soft stem cuttings while the uh, plant is alive. In fact, you really that's the only time you can do soft wood cuttings. All right, well, I will link to this page in the description if you'd like to read more about it. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.